Hi, I've got a big announcement to make at the end of this video, but first, chocolate milk. And one for you. I see these questions popping up in the comment section and on my Patreon page all the time. What to learn next? And what should I practice now? I can play this and that at this level. What should be my practice routine now? How do I move on? So let's try to solve some of these problems today. One second. As you may know, I've been a private guitar teacher for over 10 years, which I stopped doing February this year. I'm quitting. And in all these years, I learned so much about teaching, how people learn, how they make the fastest progress, how to get concepts across, etc. And putting that knowledge to practice here on YouTube really helped me structure these videos and lessons in such a manner that helped so many of you too. But still, there is a big problem. When you start out as a beginner, Hopes are high, because everything you need to know can be found on YouTube, right? But soon you'll learn that it isn't as easy as you might think. Finding the right lesson that fits your need, presented at the right pace, explained clearly. And where do you go after the first basics? Finding the road leading to or where you picture yourself in a year or even five years. That's really difficult. So there are so, so many videos out there on the internet, but there is also a big lack of structure. Before you know it, and I've been there. You spend an entire day on something you'll never use again. I once spent over 10 hours of practicing some flamenco fingerstyle technique that I never ever used again after that. But when I watched the video, it looked pretty awesome. But simply because I stopped using it, I forgot it. And all that practice was basically futile because no way I can do it again. So how to tackle this problem? A great way to overcome this is bring structure to the things you're practicing and not to be too distracted by all the inputs and impulses you're getting. There are so many stuff you should know videos and it's very tempting to watch them all, but is it really always necessary? What do you want to learn? Don't bother learning sweeps where your goal is to be a great blues player. You could learn sweeps, of course, but chances are you'll never apply it in your own playing, in your own style. This makes you forget about it because it's easy to forget stuff. And the problem about forgetting something is that you never know what you've forgotten. So if you're learning something on YouTube or somewhere else, doesn't matter, put it in your agenda, in your Google Keep or as a sticky note on your fridge. And every time you pick up the guitar, you play that exercise, lick or scale again, so that it sticks in a long-term memory. Because forgetting something you've learned is just a waste of precious time, drifting in the void. For eternity. And then there's also the level you're at. I've seen questions on the web like where to start finger picking and believe it or not answers like play Tommy Emmanuel or Annie McKee came in. These are the gods of finger style not something a novice player should start with. If you try to take on a lesson that goes way over your head there's two things that can happen. One you get frustrated and you quickly lose the joy in playing guitar. Or two you finally get there, but it took you way too much time. And it's very well possible you still have gaps in your knowledge or skills because you tried to make such a big leap in progress. So for this goes that it's a bit a trial and error thing. Some videos you'll watch will be just above your grade and you should accept that. It's not possible that every video will be suitable for you. If you watch a video on how to improvise over giant steps, but you're still getting the 12 bar blues down, that's probably a few giant steps too many for you. Of course, you can learn something from it, but what I would do, for example, is check out how you can improvise over the four chord in the blues or how to play over the turnaround. Now, that's a small step for you since you're already fiddling around with the 12 bar blues. And like this, you're way more likely to remember what you've learned and put it to practice into your own playing. Oh, and here's another one. Know what you're learning. Okay, say you see a video titled The Dorian Mode, the key to next level playing. And you think, hey, I want to be a next level guitar player. So you learn the Dorian mode and next day you're able to play it. Maybe even in two different positions on the neck. Okay, cool. But the next weeks, you simply never use the scale again. And as we said earlier, if you never use something, you just forget it. But why didn't you use it? Because you didn't know or learn how to implement it. If you did not know on what chords to use the Dorian mode, or when it's better to use the Mixolydian, or just maybe even pentatonics, you pretty much haven't learned anything other than just a set of random notes. Okay, you gained some technical skill, but what's the value of technique without the notes? When you learn something and you have the context, 
it holds much more value. If you learn a new word and you know the definition, you can use it yourself in your own context whenever you want. You can play something 10 times, but if you don't know what it means or how to use it, it's pretty inefficient. So if you're fed the right knowledge at the right time, that can save you a lot of time practicing stuff that's not suited for you at the time. So if you still have problems and need a bigger, more stable solution, the following message might help you. Because I've recognized these problems over and over in the comment section of my videos, I decided to do something about it. I already came up with a plan quite some time ago to start to make a guitar course. I want to bring out a guitar course. Guitar courses from beginner to advanced. Because while all of my videos here on YouTube are hopefully a great inspiration for many all across the globe, they don't take you by the hand creating a linear learning experience. Because of this, I've gotten loads of comments and requests of me making a guitar course. So I decided to combine my decade plus experience in teaching and my love for making videos and merge it into one. <laughs> so when I quit teaching one-on-one -on -one lessons, I fully dove into YouTube for a while. I learned a lot during this time. I love editing videos. Subjects for videos just came to me automatically. I was so inspired. But what also came were the requests. Please make a guitar course. What should I learn next, Paul? Where to go? I'm a beginner. What video of yours should I start with? I started to see the problem on a bigger scale, but at the same time, the solution came to me make a guitar course. This led me thinking about where to start, what to put in it, but to me, it only made sense to start your first guitar course at the beginning, right? To set the baseline for whatever may come next. To get all the fundamentals right, no gaps in your knowledge, explaining everything from the ground up, the right techniques, the right habits. So that's why I'm very proud to announce Learn, Practice, Play. My first ever guitar course designed to make the learning experience for beginners as hassle-free as possible. It covers all the essentials to know and learn whenever you're getting into the guitar just now or have some experience but don't really know where to go. It was important for the design of the course that it had a clear start and finish. Well, the start is pretty clear. Anyone can enroll, even if you never touched a guitar before. And at the end, You've learned all the basics and fundamentals that a guitar player should know. It has a very clear destination and it's not an endless book. No, it's seven modules which takes you through all the essentials in 14 weeks. Every two weeks a new module is unlocked which has up to seven video lessons in it. With multiple exercises from scales to chords, picking and strumming and from theory to practice. There's backing tracks, PDFs, clear instructions and a realistic learning curve. To stop you from feeling overwhelmed and puzzled and left without a clear roadmap, the course has a suggested pace, which as I said is 14 weeks. And I think almost everyone will be able to succeed within these 14 weeks. But of course, if you rather have your own pace, if you like to go slower, the course is available for a lifetime on learnpracticeplay.com once you decide to enroll. Sales for the course are open for five days only and will close a few months after this. Check the site for more information www.learnpracticeplay.com so, so, <laughs> so I'm super pumped to release this and proud of the achievement already. It feels so logical for me to take this step at this point in life. It all just came together and I hope that it'll help a lot of aspiring guitar players make a leap forward and let this be a kickstart to their guitar careers. Anyways, check it out at learnpracticeplay.com and I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. Bye.